Good morning, everyone. I'm Kumar Kibble, Deputy Director of Immigration and Customs Enforcement. I'm honored to be here today to rightfully repatriate to the People's Republic of China a collection of priceless cultural artifacts. The items we are returning to China today are delicate but tangible ancient works of art that help tell the story of your country's magnificent history and rich cultural heritage. We are pleased to return these ancient objects to you. These items are part of your country's heritage and keepsakes for the people of China and for the world to enjoy. We highly value our partnership with the People's Republic of China in preventing the illicit trafficking of archaeological objects. While repatriating this material is indeed reason for celebration, our long-term goal is to reduce the incentive for further destruction of ancient tombs and temples where so many of these objects are dug up, chiseled off, and pilfered. One of the investigations that led us here today is known as Operation Great Wall, during which SAC New York agents assigned to our El Dorado Task Force, working with CBP officers assigned to the Central Air Cargo Exam Facility, targeted importations originating from China, which were found to contain many of these priceless Chinese artifacts you see here today. Operation Great Wall began, as so many investigations do, with agents and officers acting on a hunch that something was amiss. In this case, CBP and HSI law enforcement officials uncovered a suspect shipment at the Newark International Airport. The shipment in question turned out to be filled with priceless antiquities that had been stolen from China. The objects we are returning to here today represent three illicit shipments of Chinese cultural artifacts. Operation Great Wall continues, and we anticipate future seizures of illicitly trafficked Chinese artifacts. All of these remarkable treasures, some that date back to 386 AD, tell a story. They clue us into ancestral life. They are more than mere objects. They are timeless pieces from the past that serve to uplift us in the knowledge that mankind has always been imaginative and inspired to create beauty. Using what could have been rudimentary tools, these skilled craftsmen from an ancient era turned lumps of clay and limestone into intricate works of art. In the words of Buddha, just as treasures are uncovered from the earth, so virtue appears from good deeds and wisdom appears from a pure and peaceful mind. To walk safely through the maze of human life, one needs the light of wisdom and the guidance of virtue. It is incumbent upon all nations, and indeed a virtue, for us to do our best to shelter, shield, and sustain the historical objects and collections that trace how human beings lived, survived, and functioned in the world. Thank you.